Welcome to iFuture Coaching. We're going to take a look at how you can increase the chances of creating and scoring more effectively. According to the research, there are specific zones on the pitch that has been used to differentiate between the successful and unsuccessful teams. This has been backed up by following the success of the France national team and Manchester United's success under Sir Alex Ferguson. Both look to play through certain areas of the pitch more than any other team. This has been replicated in the modern game by the likes of Jose Mourinho, Jurgen Klopp and others alike. The area we are referring to is Zone 14, which has also been referred to as the Golden Square, as if a team can dominate effectively in this area, their chances of winning goes up by up to 81.3%. As you can see from the diagram, Zone 14 is found just on the edge of the penalty area, 18 to 20 yards from goal. This is commonly where you'd find the second striker occupying space. This is where you'd often see the likes of Bruno Fernandes, Kevin De Bruyne, James Madison and Ndombele become extremely dangerous when in these areas. As you can see from our statistics, over 63% of goals and assists are coming from Zone 14 in the Premier League. With this research coming into effect throughout early 2000, we saw more teams setting up in a formation maximising Zone 14, as well as the two half spaces, commonly seen in the 4-2-3-1 as it would automatically encourage key players to occupy the spaces available. Check out our analysis on the 4-2-3-1 formation after this video. Historically, Steven Gerrard and Frank Lampard have dominated this area more than any other players in the Premier League, scoring a high percentage of goals from these areas as well as gathering a high percentage of assists. You need to treat this space like you would do the paint in basketball. You want to give yourself a set amount of time in there, two to three seconds. Once you've dropped in and ready to receive the ball, you'll naturally attract defenders. Be careful, the longer it takes to release the ball in zone 14, the less chances of the attack resulting in a goal scoring opportunity. Anything lasting longer than five seconds is seen to have a dramatic drop in goal scoring opportunities. Harry Kane has maximised this space more than any other striker under Jose Mourinho. He has received the ball on the half turn and split the defence of the opposition more than any other attacking player in the league through the 2020-21 campaign. With Zone 14 becoming a key area for the attacking side, defending the opposition Zone 14, now Zone 5, becomes of more importance. The likes of Jose Mourinho have adopted a low block to control this area and limit the chances or positions they have on their goal, which has been successful as they have conceded one of the least amounts of goals this season. Zone 14 will still be a very effective principle for coaches to use when talking about key areas, though this isn't something to build a full philosophy on. Pep Guardiola has evolved this philosophy into a 21-zone system of different size, shapes and guidelines for his players. To summarise, there are four key points to utilising Zone 14. Making a positive action within the first two seconds can significantly improve chances of scoring. The more successful teams will utilise this space more than others. Defensively, if you can limit actions in this zone, there's a better chance of not conceding. Finally, this isn't a philosophy to stick to, though a good principle to use. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button for more training sessions analysis and interviews from professionals within the game.